There we go. Doing some smallie fishing today. Got a lot of energy, but no sleep. Fishing a brown and yellow bucktail jig. They're kind of picky. They didn't want swim bait jigs so far. Been slowly slinking into this run here, trying to pattern them. Water's real clear though. A couple casts, this guy smacked this bucktail. Hunting for my 60th master angler smallmouth today. I'm up to 59 right now. So looking for a big boy, at least one. It's a nice little guy. Here, let go. Right in front of me there. <laughs> Sucked it in. That was like a lifting hook set. That was really awkward. <laughs> Super slow bite. I was working at Rebel Craw and a bunch of other things for a while. I snagged the carp in the tail and Fought him for like 10 minutes. He was good size, might have been 20 pounds or so, but a lot of carp in the river like that I catch, but he popped the hook like 10 feet out in front of me. Yeah. Just a little guy. It's the only thing that's working so far is that brown yellow bucktail. And even that's not working so amazing. There's a bass. Man, he, he, I saw him come in and hit it. That was awesome. Fishing a blue and black swim bait style jig. He's a decent smallie. Awesome. There's more too. I see more of them. Oh, there, bud. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's got. Nice mouth on him. It's a solid one. So, didn't really expect this to happen on such a slow day, but that makes him my 60th Master Angler smallmouth. Just barely. Real awesome. Exciting. Oh, that one's really fat. That's a nice one. Right when it stopped being the muddy pool full of carp and changed to boulders. First time I fished this spot, by the way. It's a real gnarly spot. Just a deep channel run. Oh, that looks like a nice smallmouth. Man, I've been killing it on these swim baits on buzz baits this fall. And a little bit on the tiny torpedo. So many big ones. Stay hooked. No, no, not in the... He's not as nice as I thought. But sometimes they look bigger when they jump like that. But he's still a decent one. I was just jigging it the same way. That blue black swim bait jig. Solid fish though. These are quality smallmouth. You know, out of the thousands of smallmouth I've caught around here, only 60 have been 18 plus, so they're not common fish. It's not Sturgeon Bay. That's a decent one. He's thicker than the last one. Not as thick as I've been getting them though. I've been getting real fat ones lately, but these two are on the thinner side. I think he's shorter though. He's probably like a 17. Finally, really slow day of fishing. <laughs> Hopping around. Moving spots. Still fishing that uh, blue, brown, I used a brown head this time, custom jig head, and uh, darker blue, two shades of blue, uh, sassy shad style jig. 
I always have a hard time saying that. Sassy shed. <laughs> this guy feels strong. Oh, it's a nice smallie. Oh, stay hooked. Stay hooked. That is what I'm looking for. I'd rather quality fish over numbers any day of the week. I've caught my fair share of numbers in my life. But I'm always game for a big smallmouth. Always. Oh man, I lost a bruiser in here. I've been catching so many big ones in this area. I lost a bruiser in here the other night, like a week, within the last week, and it broke my heart. I lost it right at my knees. My knot broke of all the stupid things that never happen. This looks like a nice one. I don't know how nice, but he looked good size when he jumped. Might be another 18 plus, I'm hoping. Hoping it's, hoping it's the best one of the day. He looks solid. He looks solid. I forgot my neck because I'm dumb. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Just kind of a steady retrieve too. They've been, I mean, this time of year any retrieve can be great. I usually get numbers with a steady retrieve or with like an undulating retrieve through the midwater column. But, you know, sometimes they're just keyed into a real hard snap retrieve. Oh, this guy's a bruiser. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. This might be the... He's similar. I don't know if he's the one, but he's similar. He's a really nice one. I'm just going to take it easy on him and beach him. I'm not going to fumble around with him at my knees again. He's a nice one. I think he's 18 plus at the very least. Solid fish. Oh yeah. <laughs> really nice smallmouth. Gotta be. I would guess 19 plus. There he goes. There we go. Next cast, another fish. Wow. Just on a steadier tree again. I totally said what I was trying to say wrong. I, I've caught lots of 18 and 3 quarter inch smallies and right around there before. I meant I've caught two, three now that have been exactly 18 and 3 quarters out of this exact spot in the last two weeks. So that's what makes that all look the same. So that's what makes me think I might be catching the same one again when it comes to that fish. Another smallie. I love smallie fishing so much. Trophies here. That's the one, one thing I'm missing. That one the other day had to be bigger than that one because it just had to be. It was probably around 20, but wishful thinking. I wish it was 21. Yeah, chunky, chunky shorter guy. No, 15 probably, right around there. See the line tap on that one just as much as I could feel it. Oh, that was an epic jump. That might be another big one. Hard to tell though. It's really hard to tell when they jump and you just see them for a split second. You usually over guess them. That happens. This is better than it was last night or two nights ago, whatever it was. It really slowed down. I got like three or something and they were all small, like 16 and under. I don't know. Just having some killer days here. Oh, that's another really nice one. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> that might be another 18, possibly. Oh my gosh, man. Does it get any better? <laughs> I'm sure it does in big water, but still. This is just great. I was nailing 17, 18, occasional 19 plus. You know, last couple weeks in this pool on buzz baits and uh, and jigs more recently. The jig bite really turned on at the end of September. It usually does. It's usually about time when the water starts to get cold and the leaves start to turn color. The jig bite gets hot. Oh, 
Well, he's not that big. He looked way bigger when he jumped. <laughs> he's a solid fish. Really fat. <laughs> yeah, he looked he looked like an 18 when he jumped. He's really like a 16 and a half or so. That was a nice tap. Taking it hard. It's another bass. Little bass. Yeah, baby. Weird. If your if your uh, swim bait jig's falling all squirrely, like spiraling, if you just want to get more action out of it, you can cut a little slit with your teeth or with a knife or clippers or whatever, right in front of the paddle tail. I'll do, I'll do that sometimes. It's a little notch. Not all the way through, obviously, or else you're going to ruin the integrity of it, but it'll help give you a little more action. It's a real tiny one. Right on the fall there. Man, I love that. <laughs> Too good. Like one cast later. Amazing. Better than it was the other night, but not as good as it has been other days. Not nearly as good. It's still a lot of fun. Yeah, nice average size fall fishers. Creepers. Creepers. Come on. Hey, behave yourself, please. Whoops. Alright. See him there. He's like 15, 16. At least 15 and a half. Missed him and I got him. <laughs> kind of failed on that first hook set. Too much slop in the line. My own fault though. Strong guy. Not necessarily a big guy, but a strong guy. Sometimes angles make a big difference. Timing always makes a big difference. Every fishery is dynamic. Fish will move around and the circumstances will change. Over time, many different factors will change. There's a lot of variables. But uh, angles can make a big difference too. You can get you new fish, or you can get you all the fish, a certain angle. You know, the, the jigs move differently depending on, on how you are related to the current and what angle you're, you're jigging at and other things like that, you know. It makes a big difference. That's another bass. <laughs> I want to splash the camera there. Oh boy. I'm trying to lift them up here. <laughs> Just got six. I don't want to hork these guys. Another nice one. Another nice one. Oh yeah. It's thick. It's at least 17. Probably not much more than that though. This one's 17 three quarters. Another quality fish.
That feels different. Nope, I'm wrong, it's a bass. It's really tugging. Oh man, a lot of times I'll focus on that current break in any major pool run for different fish. You know, there'll be fish scattered around in the current and in the slack, but a lot of times the majority of the fish it seems are stacked on the current break with various types of fish. Walleye, bass, catfish, others too. Oh, that looked big. That looked big. Could be wrong, so it's hard to... I just retied my knot too, because it was about to snap. But the, the problem with doing or jigging too much is... Uh, uh, I'm jigging a, a lot. I'm really tired. I'm having a hard time articulating my words, but... With jigging so much is... Uh, that knot will will work work on the eyelet with just a, a standard um, clinching uh, fishing knot, not a loop version, and uh, it'll rub on it and that'll wear at the line. Oh, maybe it's not that big. <laughs> Gosh darn it! <laughs> it's so hard to tell how big they are when they jump. Yeah, he's not as big as I thought. Still a quality fish though, for sure. This one's a 17 and a half. Man, first cast with a brand new perch colored size 8 X-Wrap. Just twitching it along, I'm running out of video memory and uh, battery so I'll try to see if I can get another fish on it with showing, showing the retrieve and all but after that I'll probably just show me reeling in fish first cast man I know they're stacked in here I've been pounding them in here for weeks they're just really shy caught and released a zillion of them there's a lot of 17 plus in here that looked like another one following this one. That, was, that happened a lot, but it still was kind of neat. <laughs> it's always neat seeing it. I'm just really tired. Jeepers. He is fat. <laughs> All bananaed up with that X right there. All over his face. Chunky guy. About 16 or so. Maybe a little more. Right around 16. Turns out I'm out of camera memory and battery pretty much right now, so I can't show the retrieves, but I'm just I'm just slashing it along. Slashing it, letting it set, slashing it, letting it set. Got this guy in the fifth cast. Oh, he is a nice one. Nice smallie. Oh shoot! <laughs> that was another big one. That one I just lost in front of me really seemed like a big one. Not not because what he looked like when he jumped. That's always inconsistent, but of his head right there he probably was like 18 and a half or so his head right in front of your eyes in the water looked about right size for that for a master angler fish just barely another one on the x-ray now hurry up run that camera here another 16 or so 15 and a half Got all jammed up on the trebles there. He's like 15 and a half. 